All right. Hello, homies. It's me, Plague. Uh, I have not done YouTube in a long while, so I apologize about that. But I told y'all before I end up doing my own thing was I stream stuff for funny stuff. And on this YouTube stuff, I post positive messages. So I mumble a lot. I haven't had much water today, so. <coughs> and allergies. So positivity. What is it? Well, positivity is like spreading good words, kindness, and joy. Like, let's say your best homie, your best buddy, came home having a real sad day. He's like, man, I, I feel horrible. I don't know what to do today. So, what would you want to do? You want to help, you want to comfort them, help them. That's positivity. You're spreading kindness to a person you care and love about. Or yet a random stranger. Like, let's say you see a homeless man on the side of the street. He asks you, hey, man, how are you doing today? Can you give me $5 so I can get a candy bar? And you have two options there. Well, not necessarily two, but you have an option there to give him $5. And that there is showing positivity. You're, you're giving care and help and kindness to a homeless man who needs help. Positivity is something special. Everyone needs it. Like, I saw a video today. It was about a guy on YouTube who said that it was basically about like my life as like an ugly person. And a person in their comments said like, if I'm honest, you seem really cute and stuff like that. And turns out they end up getting married. And that's what positivity can can accomplish. Positivity can accomplish a whole lot of things. Like. It can make you feel happier. It can make everyone around you feel happier. And it can it can fix fights and problems. Like, I used to be in a community filled with a bunch of sad, angry, hated people. Like, they hated each other every day. And it was really hard to talk to them. But, but what fully fixed them was kindness, compassion, love, and joy. You show that to one person, they'll sh they'll s they'll talk about kindness, compassion, and loy love and joy to another person, and it, it spreads. It all takes a little spark to make everyone start spreading positivity. That's all that matters is positivity. That's what life is: positivity. You need positivity to live life. Like I know some of y'all, I, I like watching a ton, ton of memes. Like so I know some of y'all saw like the Superman, Starman memes. It was like some of it's funny. So it's not, but the main reason why I like it is because it's a song about positivity, and it's showing about like Superman. Superman's a cool, kind human. Well, not necessarily he's a, he's an alien, but he's showing positivity by helping out people in need. So, positivity it's real important. We need it. And what really troubles me about the world is there's so many teenagers, adults, children, everyone in the world really that are just sad, like. The world's tough, I'm aware. Like, I I have, I have my share of toughness and hard times. Uh, so, negativity. It's everywhere. Like, you could look at your hand. You can look at that, like, let's say there's a cut on your hand. That's a sign of negativity. Like, you either you'll say, oh, dang, that hurts. I'm kind of sad now that it hurts. Or you'll go, oh, that hurt. I will learn not to... Cut myself, and better yet, be careful with, around the face like that. I cut you. I'm, I need I'm, I'm making those sense here. But, positivity. You need it, right? You need positivity just every single moment. And better yet, let's say you're struggling with, like, how your body looks and everything. And you're really hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself, man. Being hard on yourself just makes things ten times worse. Like, me. I lift a lot of weights because... And I've always had a positive mindset about it because... I know that if I'm strong, I can get stuff done, and I can help people around me. Like, I'm pretty strong. I'm getting there. Still pretty young. But positivity is what led me to there. Even when I'm surrounded by negativity, like people saying, oh, you can't lift this, you can't do that, you're too weak. Don't listen to that. Like, as a fellow man, I've heard some, I bet you've heard in your life the term man up. That's not what a real man does. It's just sit there through it and man up. That's not what a man does. What a man does is talk about his feelings, share how he feels, and and actually accept comfort and ways to fix it. Not sit around like, mm, I, I don't want to fucking listen to you. That's not nice. You don't. That's not what a man does. A man looks after its their his friends, family, loved ones, and more. Better yet, random strangers. That's what a man does. 
It's all about positivity and kindness is what we get things done. I don't like negativity. Negativity is horrible. Like, I've been around it a whole lot in my life, and it's not fun. Negativity sucks, bro. Like, my school before I graduated, uh, my middle school, uh, the thing was horrible. Like, every day I wake up, and I would dread going to school, because I know that the whole day I will hear negativity. I will hear negativity, and just a bunch of mean voices towards each other. And... You may feel like, like, oh, well, why would you do anything? Because what, because what some people deal with is that they don't have the confidence to do that, because there is no confidence being shown. And I went through that too. For the first two years of my middle school career, I was, I had no confidence to do anything whatsoever. But what I did over the summer, those two summers, built up my confidence into what led me to eighth grade, to which led me to where I am now. It's that. It's the program of working out kindness and compassion to everyone. It's not a necessary program. It's it's a thing I made up. And what this whole thing is that during the summertime, you look over what happened, what made you sad, what's wrong, and learn how to fix it. Like, let's say that... I, I'm not trying to be mean here. Let's say that you are not well-fitted, strong enough like that. Like, you have a hard time doing any physical activities. What you do over that summer is you start learning how to work out, like... It don't have to be nothing intense, like an average push-up day. And so you can't even do a push-up on the ground. So, find your average counter, right? Lean against that and do push-ups up against that. And slowly get lower and lower and lower until you're on the floor and can do a push-up. That's what I did. I was way out of shape, man. Way, way, way. Like, incredibly out of shape back then. And it was horrible. Like, I couldn't run. I couldn't lift. I was made fun of. And then eventually one day I said, you know what? I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to prove them wrong what positivity can do. And look, look where I am. I'm known by my friends as the positive, funny guy. Kind of crazy sometimes. Because, hey, if you're funny, you're spreading positivity. Like, as long as you're spreading positivity, you should be good. But don't disregard your own feelings. Your feelings matter a lot. Don't be like me back then. Like, don't get so absorbed by making everyone happy. That's not what you do. Because you are a human being, too. You matter. You matter a whole lot, just as this other person. Like, anything, we all matter as much as, like, the world leaders or anything like that. Like, Biden, Putin, all that stuff. You matter just as much as them. You're a fellow human being. There's, like, what, 8 to 9 billion people on, on this planet now? And we were always looked over. And you expect, and you really, you really look at popular people, and you wonder, oh, how do they do it, how do they do that? It's because they're sad. Some of them are just real sad and don't talk about it and only care about their fame. Us, I'm not that popular. Like, all I do is post funny stuff on the internet, do funny things, and talk about positivity. And look, I don't mind that. Like, it's actually really happy and fun. I'm, I'm having the best time of my life. It's awesome. And that's what life is about. Is this, As long as you're happy, like, if everyone around you is happy... You're bringing joy in the world, and you're happy, especially if you are happy. Life is going to be good. Because you're not, you weren't put in this world just to suffer. Like, life is tough, I'm aware. The world is hard. And what matters is, it's just about being happy. Because, if you're not happy, what are you doing, man? Like, it's horrible. Going to bed every night, feeling sad, waking up every morning, feeling sad, not knowing what to doing. To the point where it might drive you to suicide. Because there's a lot of teenagers I know out there, a lot of them, that actually end, end up end taking their own lives. And I'm just sad by that. It shows that the world was so hard for them, they had no positivity around them to help them. And I feel I feel so sad for those guys. Man, woman, whatever you are. I don't, I don't, I don't try to judge you by your pronouns. I don't judge anyone. Everyone's my friend. And... It just makes me sad, knowing that a person who just started their life, has all this potential, ends it, because they're so sad. They have nothing to do, and they don't know what to do. Like, some people may not have a father figure, a mother, all that. They're just alone, and they have no sign of positivity of or what to do. They're lost. And so they think the only way to fix it is suicide. And that's not true. 
how I live is no matter what happens, no matter how hard it is, I learned that eventually it will just get better. I know that. Because, let's say this here. This is a PlayStation controller. I had one just like it that I love dearly to me. But I got so mad one day that I broke it. And I felt terrible about it. Because, of course, my parents and my family, this is their money they spent on this. They worked hard. They spent money on this. And I was sad that I broke it. And what I did was I told my family that I broke this controller. I know that I may get a new one, but I wish to repay it. And I repaid it. I fixed it. And I knew from that point on that that it got better, didn't it? You learned a lesson. You learned a lesson that things get better. Like, don't act out of anger. I kid you not. Don't act out of anger. Anger is what drives the soul to hell. And hell... I think it might just be a place in the mind. I'm not that all too religious, but I'm orthodox. I don't know too much about it, but yeah. What real to me what hell is is just torturement of the body, soul, and mind. It's all in your head. Because you have to be a good human. Like what are you gonna do if you're not a good human? Cause if because if you're a good human, things get done, people are happy, but it, you're happy. And the world gets a, a new person that's making it a better place. The world is surrounded by negativity. It's not good, and I don't like it. And I wish it was a lot better. But people like you, yes, you, I know you. I may not know you personally, but I know you. You have the opportunity to become a kind, loving, caring human being. You have the, you have the possibility to walk outside, to go on a walk, and better yet, meet new people like... Like, let's say you're going for a walk, you see someone out in their yard, go up to them, shake their hand, greet them, say, hey, pal, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm so-and-so, it's a pleasure to meet you. And learn something about them, because every human being has a story. Like, every single human being, like me, you, everyone else has a story. Now, I don't want to get this video too long, because I'm sure y'all got things to do, but you gotta be, you gotta be happy, man. But yeah, today is Sunday. And Sunday is an amazing day, because it's it shows that it's almost the start of a brand new week. And every new week, something new will happen. No matter if it's a good week, bad week, a normal week, something happens every week. And it's always different. It may feel the same every day, but it isn't. Like, every, like if you're still in school, you'd wake up, go to class and everything, you feel like, dang, this thing is so boring, so sad, so long, it's so repetitive. And it might be. It might be repetitive, but every day... So you have the opportunity to change something, like you could have the opportunity to ask a question or ask more stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not. I didn't write. I don't write scripts for videos, so I'm sorry. I just go off what's on top of my head. Now, uh, please stay happy. Bring positivity. Like every human needs positivity. Uh, I will probably make a video on how to get in shape slowly, like me. I'm, I'm a big guy. I play football, linemen, and stuff. I will try and help y'all out the best I can. If y'all ever need me, I have a Discord thingy and a Gmail. Gmail's an old Gmail. I have my old kid's name on it. <laughs> but I'm happy that I, I was glad to talk to you. I was glad that y'all stayed here and listened to me. Thank y'all for listening, man. Have an amazing night, day, wherever you're at. See you soon.